All right, guys, welcome back to DTEC. Uh, today we are going to do some quick testing on this Mercedes. It is a 2009 CL550, and the customer's complaint is that they have this battery message on the dash cluster. Them on their own, this is from a separate shop uh, car lot deal. They have replaced alternator and battery and had brought it to me to see if I could do some quote unquote programming to get rid of that light. And so with that, let me get you a shot of the cluster. And what I've noticed is sometimes the message displays in white lettering and says charge battery. Uh, here recently after looking at it for a little bit, it comes up red and says, um, let me see, can't remember, okay, battery not charged, so this, this one just recently started popping up for me, initially when it came, it would say in white lettering, uh, charge battery, and so with that, naturally, what I just want to do is a full system scan, and I'm actually surprised because it has no trouble codes related to anything with battery. Now, I, I'm not sure if I've ever run into a message that is displayed in this way. Most of the time, we get an auxiliary battery message. And frankly, it, it's pretty straightforward that the um, auxiliary battery would need to be replaced. And so... That on this chassis lives down there. You could see the white sticker. It's one of those mini batteries um, commonly known that uh, tend to drop down. So I uh, decided to look at that since they did put a battery in it. And I'll get you a shot of that. One thing I can say, the auxiliary battery is actually charged up. It uh, with my voltmeter outside the car, it is at 12 and a half volts. And here is the battery that they installed. Um, it is actually a, looks like it's an AGM. I haven't looked up the specs yet uh, to see what, you know, the ratings, but based off of this amount of space left, I'm wondering if this is not enough capacity. But we can always look that up. Now, mind you, again, this is new. The other thing to get you a shot of is that guy there. But if you look back there, it is an aftermarket. Also, um, because of seeing all this, I wanted to do some testing and with the scope. I did get some information off of Mercedes website and I will pull that up because I am not sure what is going to take care of the issue being that uh, things seem to be new quote unquote doesn't always mean they'll work. Now if we look, there's our voltage and it does eventually shoot up. There we go. And the other thing that I noticed is you cannot get rid of the message. You can't scroll past them. Now it acted the same way whether it displayed in the white lettering saying battery uh, charge battery or uh, here in the red it still won't clear so that's another thing to, to point out so not too much of a sense of direction just seems a little bit odd especially with nothing popping up no one uh, having any faults related to anything with the battery or charging system Here's some uh, service information that I did run across. If you look there at the top, it's uh, described as checking charging current of the alternator. Uh, this vehicle is a, it's a 216 chassis and believe it's a 273 engine. 
So it does um, apply to what we have. Now they're kind of just showing you where to make connections right there. This is the alternator um, battery. Actually, no, this is the battery. Um, but along with that, they will give you specs of where they want the uh, charging current at. And so there's our engine 273. We do have a 216. And so looks like max 220, minimum 170 at 2000 RPM. So that, that's some specs to go by. And obviously these have a, a battery sensor that will measure the current and everything. So I'm assuming these are specs that need to fall in, the, in that window for things to uh, be happy. The other portion of this, it uh, gives you a thing of checking the alternator diodes and it shows here to make a connection um, right at this point. This is again G2 is the alternator uh, but here's some just examples of what to look for that first one there seems to be kind of a known good example the next one if it's a, a zero line as they call it where if the alternator fuse is defective possibly and then these next two examples uh, let's see if a positive diode is defective on the top or a, a minus diode is defected there in the next one. So uh, just some literature to go by, and that gives me at least something to test, especially without any um, trouble codes. Okay, and then as far as what I am testing or want to look at there with the scope, uh, I am connected on channel A to the actual main battery. And then channel B, the red channel, I am on the alternator uh, battery post to check for the um, diode and the green clamp down there. That's uh, I am on the battery post of the alternator. I am also grounding there, the blue clamp. And then right here is our amp clamp for the output of the alternator. And then those leads there, I am at the auxiliary battery in the car. Again, that auxiliary battery is at a good level, surprisingly. That is supposedly a new one, but our voltage, idle voltage with nothing running is a little bit low. And obviously aftermarket alternator that um, what I've noticed charging voltage when running is at or has been about 13.2. So seems a little bit low, but since we now actually have some figures to go by, we will be able to check and see what this vehicle is seeing and maybe that's why it's not happy. So um, all of our voltages will be up here, just above 12. This yellow one is going to be our amperage, which is at zero right now, so I'll crank it up. Okay, um, before I stop the scope, I want to show you also before I shut it off, it has switched to that uh, white message saying charge battery. So before it was saying that 
the battery was not charged. Uh, after a little bit of running and idling, now it's switched over to uh, a charge battery message. And again, we cannot do anything with it, can't clear it. Now, uh, I forgot to mention in the Mercedes uh, literature, it does tell you to put a load with the low beams on. And obviously, you saw we had to rev it up. So let's go ahead and shut it off and see what the scope captured. All right, so this is the capture. Not sure if the camera did catch it, but it was like a, a start attempt here in the beginning. Uh, sort of clicked, and then I had to try again. So that was a little bit weird or odd. But um, let's take a look at um, our battery voltages. So this is that portion where it had kind of that, uh, I'll call it stumble, but where it basically kind of, didn't start after clicking so I'm not 100% sure what that was about or entails but our voltages here during cranking and startup let's see what it drops down to the green is the battery inside so it looks like we dropped down to 9 volts right there on our blue and red which is at the battery and at the alternator and then let's see we don't start charging till about here um, looks like we start to raise up a little um, again the red is at the alternator get a little bit more static let's call it but uh, we'll have to take a look at that level when it's a little bit more stable right now idle is at about 12 and a half so alternator has not kicked in yet um, let's see let's move over and at this point I would say we have started um, charging as far as the alternator goes let's move that up here a little bit closer this point was where I uh, had the headlights on and started to idle up the engine let's check beforehand let's get a number on the alternator charging amps get a good average and let's get a number uh, at our voltages at the battery and the alternator averages again so we're at yeah 13.2 and we are 65 amps But let's take a look at the testing point that we have true figures on and that's going to be here where we rev it up we are looking for uh, we have a minimum and max for our amperage let's go back for an average let's say there and let's get uh, again voltage readings Let's throw in the uh, auxiliary battery measurement as well. So let's make sure we've got some. Now look at those diodes, the red channel. Pretty. Uh, th now our sampling rates it's not the highest or best, but compared to the blue channel, those peaks and valleys uh, are a little bit greater. So let's see. And as far as numbers go, we've raised up our charging voltage to um, 14, 7, 30, you know, 14, 8 ish. Our in interior, our auxiliary battery is at 12, 8. And then the <laughs> our amperage is at 109. It's nowhere near, I believe it's 170 for the minimum at this point. And again, I, I guess I think the battery is not getting all that it would need or should need. 
based off the looks like lower than desirable uh, portion that the alternator needs to be doing. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, it looks like and or appears at least right now with the testing that uh, this battery might stay stable where it's at. I don't have another one to check and compare right now. So I'm not sure if that one's supposed to go up to the, you know, charging voltage or just kind of maintain. It did go up from what it starts at. So it went from like 12, let's say, and a half up to 12.8. So something did happen. But uh, I am wondering if the trouble codes and everything are being generated based off of... this guy here and the capacities and what it's holding and the uh, amperage that the alternator's putting out. So uh, I'm wondering if it's a combination of both the battery and the aftermarket alternator not being able to maintain to keep up with the specs that uh, Mercedes gives us. All right, guys, so doing just a little bit of research if you look at that number there, 15710, let's go ahead and take a look. So here's the an alternator. I just Googled um, AutoZone 15710. That's what it pulls up. And it lists it as a 180 amp alternator. Now if we go over here to uh, the options code for the Mercedes down in the 900, so right there, 910, it's listing as heavy duty alternator for this vehicle's VIN number, which again is right there, and so if, if we now look here it's asking us with high output or accept high output and if it does have high output the option code is a 910 which listed as a 220 alternator not a 180 so that right there is good enough for me along with all the testing to determine that we need to get the right equipment on there Along with the uh, battery that I did check here as well, uh, it is listing and calling for a bigger battery.